Hello, you beautiful bastards. In the last How Super Saiyan 4 Can Be Can in Dragon Ball Super, I made an attempt to create Super Saiyan 4 feasible by retconning the Great Transformation mm -hmm. and combining it with God Key Training. If you need more context, I highly advise you go watch the video. Now, for the part 2. I gotta explain how Super Saiyan 4 will lead into Ultra Ego. It's gonna work like a blow pop. You, you remember that, right? You know? You, if you um, <clears throat> pause when I say this, but by the way. If you lick it really hard, or if you lick it for a long time, hey yo, what the fuck? It turns into bubble gum. And that's kind of how it's gonna work with Super Saiyan 4 going into Ultra Ego. Let's say, for example, Dragon Ball Super brings back Cooler and makes him cannon, and Cooler and Vegeta fight, and Vegeta goes Super Saiyan 4, and Cooler goes, I don't know, Platinum Cooler, Metal Chrome Cooler. And it starts being the snot of Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Vegeta's Super Saiyan 4 form is gonna act like an armor that's being damaged. And then when it's shattered or broken beyond usage, he whips out Ultra Ego that not only gets a massive boost in power, but his bloodlust and rage is amplified from the Super Saiyan 4 buff. So you're saying Vegeta got rage boost? Don't, don't say, don't, don't. Beast Vegeta! <sighs>